Hey, it's uh, Mike from Horsch here. We got our 8460 Porsche Lieb VL Mega Tank here. Uh, we got 133 booms, 2148 gallon tank. And what we're doing today, we're gonna be doing a bunch of testing on uh, water sensitive paper. Um, I got a few things I wanna look at today. So what I'm looking at is the effect the boom height is gonna have on our drift and on our deposition of droplets on the water sensitive paper. You know, we got a bit of a windy day today. I don't know if I can zoom in on the tree. You'll see the uh, branches all moving up there. So we're sitting right now, I don't know, maybe 15K, 20K winds. Supposed to pick up to 30 a bit later here, but we'll try to get the same wind speed done quick here for all of these uh, nozzle tests. You can hear the wind's picking up a bit now. Um, and then we're also gonna test our alternating nozzle design. So the twin fan, flat fan at the same time. I wanna try to prove how good or how bad that works. I've never seen any studies on it before, so I'm gonna do it myself and we'll see how it turns out. Thanks for following along. So the way this works, you gotta put these on with uh, little tweezers so you don't uh, get your thumbprint and screw it up on there because it'll, it'll match your thumbprint and wreck our uh, data. So we're just setting up on our first pass here. This is what it's gonna look like. I'm marking my spot with a big rock here so I can put her back on the same spot on every pass. But I'm gonna spin around, going down that way. I'm gonna spin around back 15 mile an hour going over our target here. And uh, what we have is I'm marking top, front, back, and then side to side here. So I'm trying to get you know, a full 360 degree view of what's happening as these droplets come out of the nozzle. Okay, so now we're only on a 20 inch spacing, two flat fans going, so the same amount, chemicals going down. We're still at 40, roughly 16 or so uh, gallons per acre, 40 PSI. We're at a 20 inch boom height. Here's what it looks like. There's our target coming right there. Okay, so we'll take a look. Right, so we're at 20 inch boom height, 20 inch nozzle spacing, 40 PSI. Here's what she looks like. There's top, there's front, here's the downwind side, there's the upwind side, and still nothing on the back. Okay, next test we're going to do on this one, all I'm trying to show is the difference between a twin fan, flat fan combination, so alternating nozzles, and then just straight flat fans. So on this test here, I'm going to have a 02 nozzle and an 03 nozzle running, so a total of an 05 on 10 inch spacing. This guy here is going to be a twin fan. The next test we're going to do after this one, we'll change it up a bit, right? We'll turn off the 10 inch spacing. And we'll go just to two double flat fans on 20 inch spacing to compare. So same amount of gallons per minute coming out, just different spacing and droplets go in different directions. So for the first one, we're gonna go just like this on manual control. It's gonna be up at 40 PSI. I'm gonna set my cruise control on this test at 10 miles per hour. And we're gonna leave the boom heights at a 20 inch height for both tests. We'll see how it looks. Okay, we're rocking along here, 20 inch boom heights right there we have our pressure set at 40 the rates about 16 is where it's coming out at our boom heights at 20 and we have the twin fan alternating nozzle design there's our target right there boom hits it all right here's what it looks like front uh pretty covered there looks nice there's our top there's the uh downwind side there's the upwind side but once again, I got nothing on the backside there. So the wind is coming pretty much, you know, from this direction right here. So as the sprayer is coming towards me across this block, clearly these T-Jet nozzles aren't hitting the backside whatsoever at a 20 inch height to 10 mile an hour. Crazy to me, but that's what ha that's what's happening here. So we'll uh, keep trying some more tests, see if we can get this backside uh, covered. All right, next test, what we're gonna do, 
uh, 10 inch boom height again. So 10 inch. We're still gonna be uh, 10 miles per hour. And we're at uh, 40 PSI. But what we've changed back to now is, uh, I guess a, whoops, we'll go to here and we'll turn this guy off, go to this guy. So now we're back to a 10 inch nozzle spacing with an O2 nozzle and an O3 nozzle for a total of an O5. It'll be about 16 and a half gallons per acre. All right, here it goes. Turn on our master switch. There she's coming down to 40 PSI. Just scraping the ground there with the 10 inch boom heights. Our alternating nozzles. Here's our targets. Okay, this looks a little bit better. Here's our uh, 10 inch nozzle spacing, 10 mile an hour, and uh, alternating pattern, twin fan, flat fan. Here's the front, there's the top, there's our upwind side, there's our downwind side. So take a look at the back there. So we finally got the back side covered this time. All right, we got all of our uh, test strips now. They're all labeled. They're all in the box here. So they're gonna, I'm gonna go take a look at all them, put them all together and uh, give you a little overview of how that all looks back at the house. But uh, we'll scan them all with the app and see what kind of numbers they pop out. So that's it for today. Uh, I'll go back and uh, calculate all the results, try to figure out uh, what we learned today. Um, you know, I don't, I realize, you know, it's not the most scientific way of doing this, and it's not, uh, you know, probably the, the best way, but, you know, it's better than nothing. This is something any farmer can do. Give yourself a few minutes at home and, uh, you know, test your nozzles. See what kind of job your sprayer is actually doing. You might uh, figure a few things out, and uh, you'll know more than you did at the start. So, good luck with uh, the tests. If you try them, I hope this maybe inspired some people to... Uh, worry more about what their nozzles actually do and, and how they perform. You know, I, I sell so many sprayers where the farmer says, hey, just put whatever tips on you want, and they don't care about the tips. But, you know, in reality, this is where you actually make your money, the performance of the nozzles and what those droplets are actually doing when they hit the plant. So hopefully, uh, you know, this inspires a few people to go buy some paper and uh, try out their nozzles, see what they're actually doing.